Well, good morning. I'm home after one of the most incredible, epic, outrageously luxurious adventures of my life. I am so blessed. My sister just spoils me. <laughs> spoils me to the umpteenth degree. I'm telling you, I have never experienced such... I mean, she takes me everywhere and spoils me everywhere. And But this was our five-year sisterversary, which means we've been sisters for five years. <laughs> she um, didn't at first accept that she was my sister. I told her she was because I never had a sister. And she's been an only child. And I said, well... Um, this this is your life now. You're stuck with me. <laughs> and I have since apologized, but she says we bless each other. I have not yet figured out what I did to deserve her, but she insists nothing but the best for me. And I, I don't know. I don't know what I did to have such an incredible, wonderful woman in my life, a role model, mentor, everything getting emotional thinking about it she's just and it's not it's not just that obviously it's not that she spoils me that I that I love her it's it's that she is so generous in kindness and grace and I'm so blessed to have her in my life and I'm sorry it's the high from coming down from such an incredible vacation and um and having someone in my life like that just <sighs> I hope I hope everyone has someone like that in their life because it is it is world changing and for the first time in a long time I am so excited for the future and what's to come and I'm crying but not because I'm sad because I'm happy and blessed and because I just went on one of the most incredible adventures that some people will never ever get to experience and I recognize the privilege I have and the beauty I have in my life and it's because of Kelly because of my sister she made that happen but anyway so what do you do the day after something so incredible you know what do you do after you experience such an incredible adventure I thought today we could review some of my most favorite moments and parts of our trip the things that we did that I think uh, should get some recognition and we should talk about because I think uh, a lot of people are curious about what we did and what we loved. Um, I don't think there was anything that we hated or disliked. Um, there were things that could have been better, but that is, you know, they use a lot of salt in their food sometimes. <laughs> it's nothing crazy, you know. Um, but I think that would be really fun to do today. And then, um, and then I'll end it with, with what we're going to look for for the future. But I will show you the fit. I got to walk this puppy. I need to get my matcha on. It's, that's probably, I'm probably also overtired. I didn't go to bed until two o'clock in the morning. And then my video yesterday uploaded wrong. It was, the file was corrupted. So I had to re-upload this morning. But anyway, everything's fixed. It should be good now. Should be able to see the shark from yesterday yes there was a shark and um yeah yeah anyway i'll show you the fit and let's get today started cheers oh my gosh so i haven't worn these in literally years and let me tell you the reason why is because they're also kind of falling apart because they're my favorite wedges that i ever owned ever and now i remember why because they're so comfortable and they're just so cute there's something like really sexy about them and i love them but they are still also falling apart but i love them so much that i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't bring myself to get rid of them i mean maybe i can still wear them maybe i can find them 
I'm going to try and find them. <laughs> anyway, I got to walk this puppy. I've been procrastinating. I've been trying to keep it together. But uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, I gained four pounds. But you know what? I'm not mad. <laughs> I did. I gained, I'm 129.2 right now. And my, my norm is like 125 and below. But, um, I don't know. I'm kind of okay with it. I mean, I'm going to go back down. I don't want to go up for sure, but I'll go back down. But, like, I'm going to enjoy this weight, too. <laughs> All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I, mean, I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, time for matcha. Delicious. All right. I need... I'm sorry. 129 is doing me good. I mean, listen, I was happy losing all that weight, being 125 and less. I love that weight. It's a great weight, but 129, I'm not mad at it either. Being five foot, it's a, it's a lot to carry on five foot zero. It is. Um, but the curves are curving and I'm not mad at it. So, I mean, I, I'm going to go back down. I just... I missed having boobies. <laughs> it's just when you get too low, they go. They just go. Is that too much information? Sorry. I'm just feeling like a sharing kind of day today. But today we're going to talk about all the amazing things we did in Aruba, everything we loved, and... Um, and yeah, that's going to be today's episode. But I just wanted to check in, say hi, show you... My lashes aren't crusty anymore. We got them all reapplied and <laughs> done. I did my hair. She's fresh and she's not really quite cooperating today, but that's all right. We'll see. It, it's, it's supposed to be cooler today, 82. I heard you guys up here in the East Coast had like 100 degree weather. Can't relate. <laughs> no, seriously, like Aruba was like the high was 87. And that was hot. Of course, the sun in Aruba, as you can see, sun's different down there. It's very close to the equator. It is, it's a desert sun. But the winds were nice. That helped a lot. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to walk the puppy. I'm going to enjoy my matcha. And then let's dive into the best of Aruba 2024. Let's do it. Cheers. Do you want to take a walk? Maybe I just needed some fresh air and sun, but it is windy today and chilly. 82 and breezy. Where'd your heat wave go, guys? Watch tomorrow be devastating. Um, I'm cold though. I'm, I mean, jeans would have been the move today for me. Anyway, uh, gorgeous day in the woods. And uh, when we get back, a Rubian travel vlog recap. Let's do it. Okay, we're just diving right in. Day one. So here I am with my passport ready to go. Can you believe sister got us first class tickets? First class to Aruba, baby. Yeah. Then we took a four minute car ride to the Renaissance Wind Creek Resort. And look at this room. <gasps> Beautiful. I mean, just gorgeous. The view was okay. We weren't <laughs> oh. Immediately changed. <laughs> got on the boat. <gasps> Yes, the boat from the inside this time, and we got to the island. I think I I'm filming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, we're back. I'm so happy. Oh, it's so beautiful, sister. I forgot how much the beach just 
makes everything better. Everything. <laughs> of course, first day there, it was sunset almost, and the flamingos finally came out, and the other birds tried to eat the food that I got for the flamingos, but oh my god. <gasps> What a perfect first day. I'm so happy they came out, but they were pretty shy at first. I guess they were kind of full, so you know how it goes. It was getting late. We were hungry, so we took the boat back and went to Aquarius, our favorite restaurant there, had dinner, and uh, went to bed. Day two, we decided we were going to be the first ones on the boat, 7 a.m., first ones on the island. And boy, were we the first ones on the island. It was gorgeous and amazing to have the island all to ourselves for a few minutes really let's be honest but also just a side note they don't open the towels until eight o'clock and we didn't get there until 7 15 so that was kind of weird but anyway having the beach to ourselves was absolute perfection we saw our flamingos and oh my god guys had breakfast on the beach with our flamingos it was delicious oh the eggs are good Perfect. We took day two pretty easy and kind of rested and uh, then got ready for dinner at Yamanja. Oh my God, that salad, incredible. Then after dinner, we walked around the marketplace and stumbled upon some salsa dancing. <laughs> day three was great. Had breakfast at Aquarius again. It is so good, their brunch jumped on a boat and saw our flamingos in well, kind of mid-morning. Um, and wait, this is so cool. Watch this. <laughs> that, is cool. that is so cool. The boats are in the direct flight path. It's so cool. Anyway, of course, I saw my flamingo. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. We went to Alta Vista Winery Aruba. It was so beautiful. Yes, I can get behind. Yes, I could do. I could do this. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys. I don't drink. After that one little drink in the thing, I was, I was a little toasty. I'm not going to lie to you. But the view. You can see the ocean from oh, here. Oh, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Day four was a morning catamaran. 9 a.m., baby. We went, and that's the catamaran. It was gorgeous, and oh my gosh, we had so much fun. The ladies on there wanted pictures of me. I was here for it. It was cool. It made me feel special. And then we came back, and of course, I got on another boat to go see, you guessed it, my flamingos. <laughs> When I got back, I got ready. We wore our matching dresses and went to the Flying Fish Bar, which I don't know, this is a super cool restaurant where we put our feet in the beach water and have dinner. Like, it is supposed to be super exclusive to be able to do that. It was so cool. The salad, delicious. Day five, our last full day in Aruba. Had breakfast at Aquarius. The food is so good. The fruit is incredible. Look what sister got me. Ah, uh, she knows. Nutella. Of course, got on our boat. Got on our Flamingo Island. And, uh, yep, you know it. I, every day, babe. Every day. I got to see my flamingos. But this was a day that was a little more extra. Um, the flamingos were great, but... Hold on. This is not next to me. <laughs> Excuse me. The salad is my salad. I only share with my sister. You're not invited. You can. No! Stay away from the salad! <laughs> he was licking my toes, sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it was iguanas for us that day. Did you know iguanas are actually one of the world's most endangered species? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Anyway, we went back, got ready, and to our favorite restaurant, Passions on the Beach. Merci. So good. Oh my god, <laughs> the food is incredible there. And then the sunset, I mean literally on the beach, and then we celebrated oh, our oh, five year sister anniversary. <laughs> Oh, it was just such a perfect day, a perfect night. And, uh, that was that was our day. Day six, our last few hours on the island. Got on the boat. One last 
Flamingo ride. Today, for some reason, the flamingos were particularly sassy. Look at them. Outrageous. Like, come on, bro. Chill. And then, like, this guy all up in my face. attacks me. Why? What did I do to him? What? Despite the aggressive flamingo kisses, we got ready and then went to the massage sister got for me. Oh my god, it was amazing. Then had a late lunch at Aquarius. They had an amazing Sunday brunch set up. It was delicious. Again, the fruit is just incredible. All the food there was so good. They had mimosas because it was Sunday brunch. And yeah, just, I mean, I didn't finish mine because, you know, alcohol in me. But it was it was yummy. We couldn't leave Aruba without going to the sign, so we got our pictures and then got ready to leave. When I tell you sister hooked us up, she hooked us up. VIP. Literally, this guy carried our bags all the way to the lounge. That's the lounge. And then we were home. And there you have it. That was, that was the recap of our exclusive, exceptional, outrageous, luxurious, incredible adventure to Aruba for our five-year sisterversary. Um, just unbelievable. Really just incredible. So if you have any questions about anywhere we went or if you want to know any more details, let me know. I will keep you posted. Um, yeah, I, uh, I just wanted to kind of go through everything that we did and kind of relive it myself because I can't believe what we did and everything that we did. It was just amazing. But anyway, I hope you had an amazing day. Happy Monday and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Until next time.